Hi, this is Sahana. Today we are going to understand the concept called change tracking in Entity Framework Code. Change tracking is a mechanism that keeps track of changes made to entities within the context. In our example, AppDB context is a derived class of DB context. Thus, it represents the database context and provides access to different DB set properties that represent the database tables. In our application, employee, employee details, employee project, manager, and project are the entities. And these entities are associated with their corresponding tables in the database. Entity Framework Core automatically detects the changes made to entities and manages the persistence of these changes to the underlying database. Let's understand how change tracking works. DB context has a component called change tracker that tracks changes made to the entities. The change tracker monitors the state of each entity within the context and assigns an entity state to each entity such as added, modified, deleted or unchanged based on the changes made to the entity. When you call save changes method, Entity Framework Core examines the tracked entities and generates the necessary SQL statements based on the current states. After calling save changes method, the change tracker resets the entity states to unchanged as the changes have been successfully persisted to the database. This information is from MSDN. Here you can understand how change tracker decides what entity state to assign to the particular entity. If the entities are not being tracked, then it will assign detached state. If the entities are new and have not yet been inserted into the database, then it will be added. If the entities have not been changed since they were queried from the database, then the state is unchanged. If the entities have been modified, then the state will be modified. If the entities are marked to be deleted, then the state will be deleted. When we call save changes method, depending on the entity state, change tracker will create necessary SQL statements. Let's understand change tracking with simple example. Look at this piece of code. Here, in this line, we are retrieving an employee whose employee ID is 1. Then, we have modified first name and last name and we are calling save changes method. Initially, when we query this data, the state is, the entity state is unchanged. When we modify first name and last name, the state will be modified. You can even inspect the change tracker. There are two ways. Either you can go for debug view or you can print it on the console window. If you want to go for debug view, you can put a breakpoint and run the application, hover in the context and expand context. Here you will find change tracker. If you expand change tracker, you will find this debug view. If you expand this debug view, you can either go for long view or you can go for short view. You can select short view. If you select short view, you will get this quick information. If you want to print it on the console window, then before save changes method, add these two lines of code. Now I will save and run the application. Here you can see the state is modified. In this example, the state is modified because we are trying to modify the details. If we try to add new entity to the database, then the state will be added. If we try to delete an entity, then the state will be deleted. If we do nothing, then the state will be unchanged. That's it for today's session. I hope the session was useful. If you have subscribed to my channel, thanks for your support. If you are not and find the content useful, do consider subscribing to my channel. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.